<laughs> it's not working. Maybe I should try from the bottom. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I am back with another testing out TikTok life hacks part 11. In this series we test out these life hacks to see if they're real or fake. You guys absolutely love this video so if you guys want a part 12, let's get today's video to 30,000 likes. I know we can make it happen. And if you haven't checked out my other TikTok life hacks and food hack videos, I'll leave my playlist linked down below so you guys can go check them out. By the way, your girl just posted a brand new TikTok so make sure to go show me some love. I'm I'm going to be posting a TikTok every single week until I give birth. We have six more weeks to go, guys, and then Baby Boy is going to be here when I least expect it. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started with the video. So, for hack number one, I came across this hack where apparently you no longer need fire to roast a marshmallow. All you need is just toothpaste. It sounds crazy, right? Let me just show you. So all you need for this first hack is marshmallows. You also need some toothpicks and most importantly, toothpaste. So I'm gonna take my toothpaste and I'm gonna put some right here, a decent amount, that should be good. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna take a marshmallow with a toothpick and we're gonna see if this roasts our marshmallow. So here we go, let's give it a try. We're gonna twist it around. Okay, any minute now. Just gotta wait for the magic to happen. Five minutes later. Okay guys, I give up. I literally am getting like a cramp in my fingers of just doing this. So this did absolutely nothing. So I think this is what they did. So what they did is they probably were doing this and they had like those hand torches and they probably had the torch from the top and that's how they gave the illusion that it was the toothpaste that was roasting the marshmallow but it was actually the fire from the torch. So unfortunately, this hack is a fake guys. All right, let's move on to the next one. Are you tired of cleaning your makeup brushes one by one and your hand gets tired after doing it for so long? Well, don't worry because I found a hack on how we can make the process way easier. Let's watch. So I have everything I need. I have my water, my soap, or you can either use a brush cleaner, whatever you wanna use. And you need some dirty brushes, and of course, the most important, a drill. So I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna put it in the drill. Now we're gonna take some soap, I'm gonna put it on the cup, take a decent amount. I really want this to work. Now I'm gonna take some water and I'm gonna put it in the cup. There we go, all right. Here comes the moment of truth. Let's test it out. Here we go. Is it cleaning it? I'm not sure. I really hope this works. Okay, three, two, one. Did it work? I'm not sure. Mm. Okay, so I think, let's try it now. You're gonna mess up your brush. Dude, you literally just yeah, messed up your brush. Yeah, I messed up my Morphe brush, guys. Okay, so it took off the pigment that I had on top, but I'm not sure if it cleaned it all the way, like properly, so I must say that this life hack did not work. I literally just messed up my perfectly good Morphe brush, but that's okay because, let me go ahead and put you on this real quick. If you love makeup and you wanna grow your brush collection, I need to put you on this real quick because this is a really good deal. So for each month, there's this brush subscription where you receive three to eight Morphe brushes for $19.99 that already includes your shipping. Last month, we got five Morphe brushes, and for this month, you'll be receiving four Morphe brushes, but if you sign up with the link down below or use my code MAKEUPYPITA at check checkout, you'll get a free brush. So that means that for this month, you'll get five Morphe brushes for just $19.99, and that already includes your shipping and handling. So if you're interested in growing your brush collection or some Morphe brushes, because what they're like six, seven dollars each brush at the store, and you're literally getting five for just $19.99, then I'll leave the link down below so you can go ahead and get your brushes. 
So I know with this whole quarantine situation, a lot of people have been baking at home. This is like quarantine's got talent because now everyone is a baker, a chef, you name it. So I found a hack how you can make brownies without using your oven in case your oven doesn't work or in case you're too lazy to take out the pots and the pans from the oven. Well, don't worry because I found a hack how you can make your brownies without an oven. Let me show you. First things first, you're gonna need some brownie mix and I'm using the exact same one that they use in their TikTok. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my brownie mix. So I'm gonna put in my one third cup of oil, one egg. Ooh, I'm telling you, all of a sudden I became a chef, a baker, you name it. <laughs> and then we're gonna do two tablespoons, one, two. And now we're gonna start mixing. Okay, brownie mix is ready to go. So what I'm gonna do now is I have my strainer right here, which is going to be like our oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat this. And while this gets hot, there we go. While that gets hot, I'm going to take my little mold and I'm going to put some brownie mix in here. Just like that. If this, if this bakes, guys, if this actually bakes, I'm going to be so shook. You guys have no idea. Okay, I think that, should be good enough already. That should be good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put it in my straightener right here, and I'm gonna leave it for a couple of minutes to see if it actually bakes. So I guess now we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. Later. Okay, I think it's ready. We're gonna take it out. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go There we go. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes guys I literally sat down in my chair and I was like this it's a cooking, it's a cooking, it's a cooking. Please cook, please cook. So it did rise up a little bit, which is giving me hope that maybe it is at least somewhat cooked. So we're gonna cut through the brownie and see what happens. Wait, no, <gasps> that is completely raw guys, look at this. And it's been about 20 minutes, so usually like a whole tray of brownies takes what, like 25 to 30 minutes? This individual brownie, it's been about 20 minutes and it's completely raw. So if you wanna sit there at home probably for like an hour, hour and a half and give it a try and see if it cooks, give it a shot, but I have to say that this life hack is fake. Okay, so has it ever happened to you that you want to make like lemon water or you just want a lemon juice for something, right? You cut it in half and then you squeeze it by hand. It is so messy because you have to fish out the seeds. Well, not anymore because I found a hack how we can go ahead and squeeze our lemon without cutting it and without making a mess. Let me show you. Okay guys, so we're gonna take our lemon, then we're gonna take this wooden skewer. We're gonna go ahead and make a hole right in here. And then we're gonna twirl it around like this. And it should work, okay. There we go. Okay, I think that should be good enough. Now, we're gonna squeeze and see if the juice comes out. Oh my God, that is so much easier, look how much Look how much juice is coming out. Whoa. Oh yeah, that's like way easier than like fishing out the seeds and then you're there struggling, making a mess. That's crazy. This, yeah, this hack definitely works guys. So this hack was a success. So according to TikTok, I've been peeling my boiled eggs the wrong way. So if this works, this is gonna be a game changer. Let's watch the video. Okay, let's give this a try. So I have my boiled egg. So I'm going to make a hole at the top and bottom. So let's do this first. 
Okay. That's the bottom, this is the top. Now we're gonna just blow on it. Why is it not coming out? <laughs> it's not working, what the heck? Wait, maybe I need to do the hole a little bit bigger. I mean, at this point, might as well just peel it off. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's not working, maybe I should try from the bottom. Okay, guys. I wasted, I wasted an day. egg for doing that. Oh my god. 10 second roll. 10 second roll? No, no, thank you. Oh my god, guys. I literally wasted a perfectly good boiled egg. But it works. It works, but did you see the struggle that I went through? I almost ran out but of breath. Does I was it like, work? I guess it does work. Okay, guys. So, this life hack does work, but it all depends if you really wanna be struggling like me. Or unless I am not good at this, unless there's like an easier way, but point is, we're just gonna say that this life hack, it does work. All right, let's move on to the next one. Here's the life hack. If your freeze pop's not all the way frozen, all you have to do is flick it. Just like that. Flick, and it freezes right away. Magic. All right, so I've had my freeze pops in the freezer for about an hour, so we're gonna see if this hack really does work. They're semi-frozen, so I'm gonna take all of them out, and we're gonna put this hack to the test. So I have all of my freeze pops right here. As you can see, some of them have a little bit of ice, so I'm going to flick them and see if it works. So we're gonna first start off with this blue one. <laughs> no, <laughs> didn't work. You can see a little bit of the eyes, but that eyes was already there. Now let's try the red one. No. <laughs> Nada. <laughs> Nothing. Come on. <laughs> no. Well, kind of a little bit, but that that, that eyes there. was already there. Okay. Let's try maybe this yellow one. This one looks like maybe this one will work. I mean, they've been in the freezer for an hour. Should I have left them a little bit longer? What if I just drop it? No. What about that one? No, I was so excited because I was like, oh my God, you know how like sometimes like during the summer you're craving a freeze pop and you're like, oh, it's not completely frozen. How cool would it be if this would have actually worked and I would just do this and be like, all right, ready to go outside. But. And unfortunately, this life hack did not work for me, guys. Okay, you know that I love everything that has to do with food, so you know I had to add a food hack into this video. So, when I saw this on TikTok, it was really interesting and I wanted to try it out because I never thought of eating an avocado as a dessert. This is an avocado, and when I came to America, I was very confused on why you guys would put avocados in a salad, because in Vietnam, we would eat it as a dessert. So today, I will show you guys how my country eats it. First, you will need one avocado, one can of condensed milk, some crushed ice. Now you will need to slice the avocado and cut them in pieces, like this. You will add crushed ice. Now pour condensed milk all over this. Yum. Last step is to smash it all together and enjoy. Okay guys, so we're gonna start preparing this dessert. So I already have my avocado nice and diced. We're gonna dump it into the ice. Let me know if you guys have ever tried this before or if you have tried anything that has to do with avocado as a dessert. Now I'm gonna take my sweet condensed milk. I have a feeling this would be pretty good. I think that, ooh, that might have been a little bit too much. Okay, now we're just going to crush it like this. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Oh, 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 okay, that should be good enough. Okay, we're gonna keep on mixing it. Let's try it out. Okay, let me mix it a little bit more. There you go. Mmm. Wow, this is actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. Like this is so good. It's like a good combo because like avocado is just plain. 
really creamy and then the sweet condensed milk is sweet and then the ice is nice and crunchy overall i have to give this a nine and a half out of ten you guys should give it a try it's really bomb all right guys and that is the end of today's video i really hope you enjoyed it remember if you guys want a part 12 of testing out tiktok life hacks then make sure to give this video to 30,000 likes and i will film that part 12 for you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that bell so i can notify you whenever i post a brand new video Thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.